Hoping to make drinking water more safe, the government is cracking down on substances known as forever chemicals. Yeah, Eyewitness News reporter Mark Robles joins us live in the newsroom with those details. Mark. John, Rachel, good morning. It is just being announced this morning. This will be the first ever national standard to limit some types of forever chemicals in our drinking water, also known as PFAS. These forever chemicals are chemicals that don't break down or break down very slowly. They're found in numerous industrial and personal products. This morning, the environment Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, set to announce the new rule that will reduce PFAS exposure for approximately 100 million people. And the focus is going to be on drinking water. Under the plan, water systems will have three years to monitor their PFAS levels and an additional two years to adopt new technologies if needed to reach compliance. Who's going to pay for that? It is federally funded. As part of that, the Biden administration is providing a billion dollars in funding through the bipartisan infrastructure law to help t uh, states with testing and treatment. Today's announcement comes as there is a new increased urgency to address the uh, health impact of forever chemicals as exposure has been linked to higher cholesterol, liver problems and pregnancy complications. Now, some experts point to the bigger crisis going on. There are 14,000 different types of PFAS under this new standard. The EPA will be regulating six of them. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.